So our goal for TMD Solar Outreach, this kind of branched out from our research lab. This kind of came about because we said, okay, look, we're doing research in energy conversion, energy storage devices. The things we're working on in the lab on the research and development side are things that are going to be 10, maybe 15 years out. We wanted to see if we could actually use some of the things that we're learning that are going to be next generation and see if we can apply it today to some of our current problems. So my mom had been involved in going to Haiti for a number of years. She's been going there since 1992. She goes there two to three times a year. And uh, she's been real involved in Haiti. And in fact, I've traveled to Haiti as well. So during my visit to Haiti, one of the things that really stood out to me among a lot of the challenges that they have is there's huge implications because of the energy poverty that they're experiencing. And so I got to thinking, I said, well look, you know, my research group, we do research in energy and nanomaterials, we have a strong passion towards solar cells, so why not think of ways on how we could actually implement these renewable energy technologies into a developing country? Working on the Solar Haiti project has been an incredible opportunity to apply problem solving skills that I developed in the classroom to um, real solutions that will impact people. So in designing the Integrated Energy Center, we've had to think about and interact with people in Haiti to figure out what are the most essential energy services that we can provide to the community in port pay Having the opportunity to think about how engineering design um, decisions will interact with the daily lives of real people is something that I wouldn't have a chance to do in the classroom. We actually look at this project as a win-win on both sides. The idea is that the school, if you think about a school, you think about an educational center or educational location, if they don't have basic electricity, then that provides a tremendous number of challenges, I guess, in terms of, you know, satisfying your educational goals. So we wanted to provide electricity for a school so that can facilitate better learning, a better learning environment. And at the same time, for the students that are here at Yale, we wanted to put together a challenge for them to say, okay, how can you use the things that you're learning on the research and development side or learning in the classroom to actually apply to a real world problem? So when we put these teams together and we're tackling this specific project, I think this provides a lot of excitement on both sides. So here we have students that are actually engaged in applying their knowledge to an actual problem. And on the other side, we're actually implementing those projects and those ideas, but we're actually making a difference in people's lives. And to me, that's a very, very satisfying thing.